Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at some of the popular windows that you'll work with when you are designing for the web and the Photoshop workspace. So what we want to do coming on into Photoshop Creative Cloud, we want to set our workspace for the web. So in order to do that, we can come on up to our menu and we can come to window. And what we can see is that we have workspaces. So I want to set it, yours might be on a different one. I want to make sure that graphic and web is set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in here and I'm going to reset it, reset graphic and web. Now, what happens when I do this is it gives me some of the most popular windows that I'm going to want to use when designing for the web. So, and they are as follows. I have my character window for type, my paragraph window also for type, my glyphs window also when I'm working with type and, and or font, right? Um, also, I can quickly access my color window here. And when I click this color palette, I can see that I have my swatches and I also have a device preview. Now, in here too is my history and my history is always a good window. Uh, this will actually let me look at what happens as I move through my document. Um, I also can come on in and again, my device preview was, was another one. Okay, so I have my properties window, my layers, my library. Now when we work in Creative Cloud too, we can have different um, images in one program we can access in another. And my layers will also be a really big window that I'll work with as well as my tools. So there we have it, setting our workspace for graphic and web. Thanks so much.